Hi guys, this is Full Fun Fox Tech, and today I'm very glad to show you the Kevin 30 version 3. And why we call it version 3? Because we have listened to our customers, and according to your need, we have upgraded many parts and did many improvements. Now the Kevin 30 version 3 is much, much more durable and also much stronger than before. Okay, let's see the improvement. First, we start from the motor mount, and here is the version 2 motor mount if you can see from the video and uh, still the two in orange and the six in in black it's right here okay we have make the motor mount with a very strong aluminum now you can see the thickness of this plate very big and also we have upgraded the motor mounting plate thickness to three millimeter and the three millimeter is pretty strong and now you can choose to use stronger motor like T-Motors U7, we have this uh, combo already on our store, and also the T-Motors U8, and, uh, but our default setup is still the 5010 KB288 motor right here. Um, but actually you are seeing the old version of motor, now we can suggest you to use the new motor, which is shorter, uh, which has the no, don't have the seat right here because we have made the, uh, this line so flat so you can just to choose to add this motor to make your KVN30 much more beautiful. Okay. Okay, talking about the motors, because we have upgraded the motor mount strings and also motor mount plate strings, now you can use the quick detach to make it easier to carry. And make sure you tighten the quick detach a little bit with your hand. Now it will spin without any problem and uh, the vibration can be controlled to very limited uh, scale. Okay, the next upgrade is the uh, arm lock mechanism right here. Now you can see we upgrade actually the hand turning screw into this one. This one looks much bigger, but actually I can tell you it's made of two materials. One material, the screw part, is uh, steel, very high strength steel, and also the hand turning part is chained to aluminum. And now it's bigger, and now it's uh, much stronger. You can turn with your hand, use your full strength, it will never break. Uh, some customers, uh, which who have the KVN30 visual version 2 complain that uh, if I fold arm, the arm will not go through the landing gear because the landing gear is lo long enough. Now we upgrade landing gear to longer version. Now it's a 50 centimeter long. So with the version 2 mount, you can fold without any problem going through the landing gear, making it smaller, easier to carry. Okay, which is right, very, very cool. Okay, another improvement also very important. We have just upgraded the landing gear into this one. And this is the new landing gear made of uh, full aluminum and also brushed and also steel and making it so light and so strong. You can see the important part is uh, all brushed and also the strong part is a six millimeter steel shaft making it so strong and not easy to break. Okay, we also supply the upgrade parts, upgrade case actually, for all the version k users. You can buy this upgrade part, and actually one upgrade part is including, this is a, two, a pair of the landing gear servo, new version. A pair of this is a 25 millimeter arm catch. You can mount this with your, with your uh, 25 millimeter tube and the mount is one with the new landing gear servo. And another part is this, is the 25 millimeter to 16 millimeter adapter. So in that case, you just buy these three parts and each upgrade case consists a pair of this and also a landing gear servo controller. This is the new controllers we have made and uh, this is uh, covered with a beautiful plastic case and uh, each controller can control two servos and the power supply is 5 volts so you, in that case you can directly use your radio receiver to power this but we suggest you to use a 5 volt UBEC uh, to make the whole uh, octocopter safer. The power consumption on each servo is about 1 amp and uh, a little bit more than before but uh, of course, it offers more torque and uh, more durability. And if you think the old K130 landing gear is not easy to 
modify with the new servo, you can choose to buy a 50 centimeter long 25 millimeter tube. So you can directly make your own landing gear. Okay, so talking about the landing gear, now let's go to the battery plate. You can see the battery plate is also different. Now the battery part, the battery plate is uh, separated from the floating plate. You know, on the version 2 and also version 1, the battery plate is mounted on the floating plate. In case you add too much battery, too much weight on the plate, the floating plate actually it will shake, making the whole octocopter not stable. Now we have isolated the battery plate from the floating plate. Now it's directly mounted on the outer ring of the center plate. So no matter how much weight you add on this, it will not affect the IMU, not affect the flight control right there. So you can now add around uh, 4 kilo to 5 kilo weight under the center plate to make a perfect fly without changing the springs into rubber screws. Okay, now let's uh, go to the propeller part. Actually, you can see we made a new propeller. This is a Fox Tech Supreme 1865 propeller. This propeller is new and lighter and stronger, and looks more beautiful on the K-130. And uh, it is around the three, three grams lighter than before and also much stronger. And also, it will turn the 5010 motor into a monster. It will greatly improve the throttle and also reduce uh, the power consumption, meaning increase the efficiency of the K-130. Okay, now let's go to the ESC part. We have upgraded all the ESCs to 60 amp multi-pal ESC from Foxtech. It is using the Stephen K phone where new version is very reliable as we tested it many times. And see, the, the new ESC comes with a, a very, say, easy to use sockets and also the enough long wire to connect to the power management board under the center plate. So it's just a plug and play experience, very easy to use and also uh, respond very quickly to your sticks on the radio and also yes, it's very easy to use. Okay, now let me show you how the new landing gear works. The new, new landing gear, due to its much improved torque, actually it will spin, spin slower, but in that case you can add more weight on the landing gear, for example, transmitter or similar equipment with an problem. Let me show you how it works. You can also feel the rising exercise is very smooth and also feels quieter than before. Also the descending process is also very smooth. Also since we improved the landing gear structure using aluminum, using the brass and using bearings and also the steel shaft, the whole landing gear is so durable and so strong. Although we use very long landing gear legs, it feels still feel very quite reliable on this big K130. So this is a brief introduction about the K130 version 3. Many new features, I hope you like it. And don't forget we have this very beautiful dome for you to protect your equipment and also battery on the center plate like this. Okay, so this is the new version of K130. Hope you like it. Have a nice day. Bye.